Well, the Spokane Regional Health District is making headlines once again tonight, and this time it's because the district's administrator called the police on some of her own employees. The reason they were allegedly recording a meeting. Krem 2's Ian Smay listened to the phone calls by Amelia Clark and joins us live in the newsroom tonight with more on the alleged crime that took place. Ian? According to a statement from the health district, Administrator Amelia Clark called Crime Check after a recording was allegedly made of a meeting she was in without her consent. If the meeting was recorded without her knowledge, the people doing the recording may have violated state law. On December 6th, Spokane Regional Health District Administrator Amelia Clark called Crime Check. The reason? Apparently today during a meeting, I had staff members record me unbeknownst to my me, I did not know they were recording me, and they have now sent it to press outlets. SRHD spokesperson Kelly Hawkins said, concerned employees at SRHD alerted the administration of the recording of a meeting that had been made without their knowledge or consent. The district also confirmed the meeting wasn't being recorded by the health district. But that's all the health district will say on the matter. The district says it will not talk about matters involving law enforcement. That meeting happened on the same day that the health district fired two people. The Islander reported that they received the recording from SRHD employees and the meeting was about the firings. In her call to crime check, Clark also confirmed the Islander was sent recordings of that meeting. Washington is a two-party consent state, meaning that all parties involved must consent or know a private call or meeting is being recorded beforehand. But according to lawyer Eric Stahl, whether or not a law was broken depends on more circumstances surrounding the meeting. If, if the issue is something that's already being discussed in, in public or is of, of um, you know, public as opposed to personal or private uh, interest, it might not be covered. So it really depends on exactly what, what, what is being discussed. He also explained that it depends on if people have a reasonable expectation of privacy. If the conversation or meeting is happening in public, like a loud conversation in a public park or area, versus a meeting between people in the privacy of an office or home. Hawkins said in her statement, this was not an all-staff meeting, but rather one where team members were invited to share thoughts and concerns openly in a safe place where they trusted those in attendance. She also told Krem it was not a meeting covered by the Washington Open Public Meetings Act, as it involved employees of the health district, but not members of the district's board of health. Clark said she was told by Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich to file a report of the alleged recording, despite it being city, not county, jurisdiction. She also said she consulted the health district's attorney. After consulting with our attorney, I need to file a report, and I, I would prefer for it the report to be done in person. Spokane police confirmed that on December 8th, two days after the meeting, officers responded to the health district to take a report. Hawkins also said in part of her statement that employees were informed of Washington recording laws after this alleged incident and that any actions the administration carried out in response was to show employees they take alleged breaches of trust seriously. In the newsroom, Ian Smay, Krem 2 News.